Stick around to see how to build three different styles of village houses. Hi, I'm Fred. Welcome to PS4 Village Survival, the series that has us taking on the role of a common villager as we learn about all things Minecraft. Today we're building three different styles of houses in survival. The first is a small villager house. And as you watch this, let me tell you about the problems I've had this week. I sat down to record this, and then I decided I would run into the nether real quick just to see what's what again. And that glitch happened where it sent me to my overworld coordinates. So then I'm like, oh, I'm going to die trying to get back from the nether. I shut down my game, got myself mentally prepared, made a plan, started it up again, and when I looked around, the nether portal was there. So I ran out and then traveled for three hours real time in the overworld to get back home. There'll be a clip of that after we build the first two houses. It was unpleasant, I don't suggest it. After that happened, obviously I was a little, oh, I don't know, off my game. So I recorded half of my video without my mic plugged in at all, which is why I'm doing a voiceover that's not really talking about what's happening. At some point we'll be switching over to the medium sized house, which I like to call a tract house. It's actually based on the house I'm living in right now, including the ugly brown color. Don't judge, we're talking about paint. Actually, probably siding. Anyways, this is more of a suburban style home from the outside. The inside, the scale is completely different, so we'll just have a couple of rooms. It should look pretty cool, and it's certainly something that anyone can uh, easily build early game. The third house is a little bit more fanciful, but it's still basically just a large modern house. Not like the modern, modern that Minecrafters use where it's all glass and quartz and stuff, but modern like, you know, what we in the West live in now.
Now that I'm back with my mic actually plugged in, let's build this house. <laughs> Embarrassing. Hey, check out our vestibule. You know what? That's what happens when you build the uh, infinite mob loot thingy. I'll put a link in. Shut up. <laughs> I don't even know my own titles. How about that? So we're going to use polished granite for the first level. And then we'll use um, regular granite for the top and maybe even uh, some other blocks mixed in. We don't want everything too uniform. Now this is very blocky and blah, right? Right. Which is where our diorite walls come in to act as columns. They'll be on the front entrance here. It'll add a lot of depth and flavor. And we'll do some other tricks to kind of make it so it's not just this blank wall. Polished. Definitely polished. Okay, we've got the general shell of the first floor done. Plenty of room for windows. Um, we'll probably put a window on this wall too once we get the stairs in place so we figure out where it's going to fall. Uh, this is going to be a picture window that bumps out. Picture window? No. Picture window is just a big piece of glass. A bay window. Bay. <laughs> So for the second level, I'm actually going to, this is just going to be the first level to have a matching roof to whatever we put on top. The second level will be pretty much just this living space. Uh, I am going to jut it out over the back a little bit just for some added depth and dimension. Uh, kind of the reverse of what we have here where this one goes in, that one will go out. I added some more detail by using stairs around this part and up there. So let's start adding some walls for our top floor. Also, I've managed to lose three of my most valuable villagers. We'll talk about that maybe next time. I built up that entire back wall, forgetting I wanted an overhang. So I put it back in. Now I want some sort of dark roof, but it has to be with stairs. What's dark and starey? <laughs> that? Dark oak? Is dark oak really my only option? Just think it's a nice contrast to the diorite that we've got low. Although, technically, we probably should switch the two and have dark leading up and then light on top but whatever make it your way if you want to do it around do it around growing dark oak trees do 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 I have to keep hitting the same one <laughs> I might have just wasted that stuff whatever yeah I think dark oak is the right choice do 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 roof 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 Roof, roof, roof. This is the sound roofers make, right? When they're making roofs. Roof, roof. You ever hear a roof being worked on? They're totally up there going roof, 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 roof. <laughs> I'll put that there. I'm going to get some slabs to cover up this part. And then i got to remember I need to actually extend this out. Roof, roof. <laughs> A nice complicated roof really adds a lot of uh, variety, makes it look a little bit better. You can see it a little bit in the distance there with their roofs. Not so much of this one, <laughs> but that's the design I was working from. So I went with an attic space that I can lock away from villagers just by going bloop, 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 because they don't have the par skill, parkour skills that we do. Watch out. I'm going to try doing dormers with granite walls and hopefully it'll work I mean I think it will <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and move this one to the left one and then I think we'll be good and there we have it village houses in three styles let's enter our abode nice nice I do want to keep the villagers out of the basement so I'm using that thing um I'm pretty sure there's still a bug in this version where villagers can't pathfind over top slabs so we'll see how that works out for me. Not well, I'm guessing. These are also top slabs. Got a front garden. Side flowers. This could be a lot more detailed, um, but I kind of like it where it is. I like a bit of a clean look when it comes to these builds. And I know that a lot of the big builders really don't do this, but they also usually use different scales. And for proper scale, you know, Minecraft character scale I think this works out nicely 
Now let's go back to the first house to look at how I've changed it. <laughs> because I realized it was stupid. <laughs> okay, it still is ugly from the outside. I wanted to keep the look, but I did sink this down because it was impossible to get in here and sleep because the bed was blocking it. Um, and from experience, I know that if you uh, sleep in a bed with a roof slab, your or a slab roof, your head will go through and you have to break it to get out. So yeah, don't do that. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out the rest of the series. Check out the shorts I don't post every day, but are out there and are somewhat silly. Maybe check out my other channels. Whatever. You do you. I'll catch y'all next time.